Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Manager Certification. We are in chapter two talking about the test management and still continuing with 2.2, the test management in context, which has a lot of subsegments. And as a part of this tutorial, we are continuing with 2.2.5 managing experience-based testing. Now, when it comes to experience-based testing, of course, we need to understand being a test manager, uh, what exactly the difference between the formal and the experience-based testing techniques are. And uh, from the foundation, we have already learned a lot of uh, experience-based techniques. And if in case you are test or technical test analyst certified, you do know a lot of other techniques which we can cover. Now, the only thing which being a test manager you need to identify is what kind of uh, experience-based techniques are applicable and what point it is applicable. Because not always it is recommended, but at some point it is the only option. So being a test manager, you need to determine that how exactly experience-based technique is going to add value or better coverage or probably more better confidence on certain aspects. And you need to recognize that and add value at that point of time. So, of course, uh, there are certain key aspects which you need to consider and consider those factors which might be influencing the selection of experience-based testing or even the techniques when it comes to the point. So while experience-based testing provides benefits by sufficiently finding defects that other test techniques may miss, like even the formal techniques are limited to certain values, but experience-based technique definitely can add more value. So you must be uh, considering these experience-based uh, techniques to be added to your pool of testing at certain point of time. The test manager should be aware of the challenges as well as the benefits of the experience-based techniques, particularly exploratory, which is quite often being considered when it comes to any type of uh, you know, background for an application, be it a safety critical device or any other type of application like e-commerce website, you do conduct certain level of e-commerce website. Uh, the uh, experience-based techniques, I'm sorry. And uh, even if you talk about like uh, development models, even if you talk about agile process, then of course, uh, agile is inherently called as, uh, you know, exploratory testing approach because a lot of things are exploratory because you have minimal documentation, probably do not have much scopes to apply the formal technique like equivalence partition, boundary value analysis, and so on. So, there are certain challenges, for example, if you talk about reproducing the results uh, when it comes to exploratory based testing, because people just explore it. Probably you might not be using a record and playback tool to do your test sessions of exploratory, then it becomes definitely challenging to reproduce a particular step in order to reproduce a defect. So, you know, must take care of those things that what if you get a defect during exploratory, how will you justify it to other people? And even another way, like for example, one way to manage experience-based testing uh, is to break the testing work into smaller chunks. So generally, that's what exploratory testing comes with a time limit, and we call it as time box test sessions which is limited between 30 minutes to 120 minutes because it's just not that, you know, you can definitely do a lot of test sessions for the entire day, but of course, not a single session for eight hours of time. Okay, so just try to break it into simple forms like between 30 minutes to 120 minutes and try doing multiple sessions because if you pause at a particular point, you know that what milestone and what ob objectives you have achieved so far. And then you begin with a new session, then you know what exactly you are targeting this time. And you just create a milestone saying that so far everything is good and now we are moving to the next one. So if anything goes wrong, you know this is the new one which we have uh, got failed results. Each session covers a test charter and now test charter is of course a documentation kind of a log file which is used in exploratory testing to generally log the basic information like who is the tester which module is testing what control flow he is testing or any kind of test basis is making use of the name of that the duration of the test session start time end time any key observations what was the objective so a lot of these things will be there as a part of the uh, test charter and of course uh, uh, the reporting method he used here is debriefing, where debriefing session is like you tested a particular module and you go back to the manager. Manager will ask you certain questions and you just have to answer that question. You don't have to explain him what exactly happened for 120 minutes when he was interacting with the product. So, you know, very brief and very short and simple kind of approach is being followed here. Additionally, of course, and another technique to manage experience-based testing is by integrating 
such self-directed and spontaneous testing into one traditional pre-designed testing session. For example, tester can be given permissions and allocated time to explore beyond the explicit steps, inputs, and expected results in their predefined test. So of course, uh, probably you know the formal test cases which you have already written, you can definitely extend beyond that, uh, being calling it as exploratory testing. So not exactly completing your formal technique approaches and then continuing with experience. You can even continue doing it parallelly with your formal ex executions. So you probably have designed certain values, then uh, you can actually further extend beyond those values. And that's what you call it as extension uh, with the ongoing formal testing uh, execution as well. So yeah, tester can follow any of these approach, completing the formal, then going with experience based or during the formal testing itself, you can further extend a little bit and do your exploratory at the same time. So things are uh, going to be very well uh, determined and analyzed because not everything is or all the techniques are applicable at any point of time. You can select randomly or something. Now you you have to decide what is more applicable at what point of time and what should be the approach. Tester may also be assigned with such self-directed uh, testing sessions as a part of their daily testing before, during, or after a day of running predefined test. If such testing sessions identify any kind of defect or interesting areas for future testing, the predefined test may be updated. That means you can definitely include certain steps and continue doing the same thing. Now, what exactly is the approach? So at the beginning of the exploratory session, the tester ascertains and performs the necessary setup task for the test. Of course, that's a very formal way. During the session, the tester learns about the application being tested, designs and execute test according to the technique being applied and what has been learned about the application investigates any kind of defects and captures the result in a test in a log file. So these are the common approaches which you generally follow even if it comes to the exploratory based testing. Uh, generally, in a lot of organizations create a, a informal test cases which are like not predefined in a formal way because something has to be documented when you engage with your application and you showcase to your client and you want to be auditable, then of course you need to have at least few lines of code or few lines of test cases, which says that this is what you were busy testing for the next few hours. After the session, a debriefing may occur, which sets the direction of the subsequent session. So reporting method used is called as uh, debriefing, which I just explained to you. Well, that is what we just wanted to give you an outline of uh, how exactly you manage the experience-based testing when it comes to the process. And of course, there was a lot to explore. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.